Thai Airways International Public Company Limited, trading as Thai, Set, Thai, Thai, Brisseth Carbanthi Kakad Machin is the flag carrier airline of Thailand. Formed in 1988, the airline has its corporate headquarters in Vibhavati Rangsit Road, Chattachak District, Bangkok, and primarily operates from Suwanapum Airport. Thai is a founding member of the Star Alliance. The airline is the second largest shareholder of the low-cost carrier Nok Air with a 21.80% stake, and it launched a regional carrier under the name Thai Smile in the middle of 2012 using new Airbus A320 aircraft. From its hub at Suwanapum Airport and secondary hub at Phuket International Airport, Thai, including subsidiaries, flies to 84 destinations in 37 countries using a fleet of over 90 aircraft. The airline was once the operator of two of the world's longest non-stop routes between Bangkok and Los Angeles and New York City, but due to high fuel prices, the withdrawal of aircraft, luggage weight limits and rising airfares, the airline abandoned all non-stop U.S. services in 2012 indefinitely. As of 2013, services between Bangkok and Los Angeles were served via Incheon International Airport near Seoul, however, it ended its service to the U.S. on 25 October 2015. Thai's route network is dominated by flights to Europe, East Asia, and South, Southwest Asia, though the airline serves five cities in Oceania. Thai was the first Asia-Pacific airline to serve London Heathrow Airport. Among Asia-Pacific carriers, Thai has one of the largest passenger operations in Europe. History Topic. Beginnings Thai Airways has its origins in 1960 as a joint venture between Scandinavian Airlines SAS, which held a 30% share of the new company valued at 2 million Thai baht, and Thailand's domestic carrier, Thai Airways Company The purpose of the joint venture was to create an international wing for the domestic carrier Thai Airways Company. SAS also provided operational, managerial, and marketing expertise, with training assistance aimed at building a fully independent national airline within the shortest possible time. Thai nationals, through training and experience, were gradually able to assume full managerial responsibility and the number of expatriate staff duly decreased, with expatriates accounting for less than 1% of staff based in Thailand in 1987. The carrier's first revenue flight was on 1 May 1960. Flights were operated to nine overseas Asian destinations from Bangkok. The airline's first intercontinental services using Douglas DC-8 started in 1971 to Australia, and then to Europe the following year. A number of the larger Douglas DC-10 wide-body tri-jet was acquired in the later 1970s. Services to North America commenced in 1980. On the 1st of April 1977, after 17 years of capital participation by SAS, the Thai government bought out the remaining 15% of SAS-owned shares, and Thai became an airline owned by the Thai government. In 2016, the company is 51% owned by the Thai Ministry of Finance. 47% of its shares trade on the stock exchange of Thailand. Topic: 1980s and 1990s merger with Thai Airways Company. On the 1st of April 1988, then Prime Minister Gen. Prem Tinsilanwanda, in seeking to have a single national carrier, merged the international and domestic operations of the two companies to form the present company, Thai Airways International. On the 25th of June 1991, the new Thai listed its shares on the stock exchange of Thailand and offered them to the public. The Thai public offering of shares is the largest ever undertaken in the country. In 1997, Thai Airways planned a privatization program, the first in Thai history. On the 14th of May 1997, Thai, along with Lufthansa, Air Canada, SAS, and United Airlines, founded the world's first and largest airline alliance, Star Alliance. Topic: 2000s airline brand renewal and financial difficulties. Throughout the 2000s decade, Thai aggressively continued its route network expansion with new services to Chengdu, Busan, Chennai, Shaman, Milan, Moscow, Islamabad, Hyderabad, Johannesburg, later suspended, and Oslo. 
Using the Airbus A340-500s it acquired in 2005, Thai commenced non-stop flights from Bangkok to New York, its first non-stop services to North America. The airline later converted existing one-stop services to Los Angeles into non-stop services using the same aircraft type. Citing very high fuel costs, Thai discontinued the New York service in July 2008, even though the airline had been able to fill 80% of the seats. The service to Los Angeles was again reverted to one-stop service via Seoul on 1 May 2012, leaving the airline without a non-stop service between Thailand and North America. The A340s used have been phased out using the Boeing 777-200ER for the Bangkok-Seoul-Los Angeles route. Although the previous A340 used for non-stop services was not subject to ETOPS, the phasing in of the 777 with one-stop service with the 330-minute rule will be indefinite for years to come. The airline has no plans to pursue newer North America destinations, e.g., Houston, Texas, USA, or purchase the Boeing 747-8 for Trans-Pacific routes since Thai Airways is operating the Airbus A380. In 2006, Thai moved its hub operations to the new Bangkok Suwanapum Airport. Coinciding with the arrival of new aircraft during the mid 2000s, as well as its new hub airport in Bangkok, the airline launched a brand renewal by introducing a new aircraft livery, new aircraft seating, and revamped ground and air services. The 2000s decade also saw Thai expanding its route network beyond its Bangkok hub. The airline launched non-stop flights from Phuket to Tokyo Narita, Seoul Incheon and Hong Kong. During the late 2000s, Thai's aggressive growth was hampered by a combination of internal and external factors, including a spike in fuel prices, domestic political conflict in Thailand, and the global economic crisis of the late 2000s. In 2008, after achieving profitability for the previous 40 years, Thai recorded a loss for the first time in its history of around 21 billion baht $675 million. The airline cited high fuel costs and Thailand's political situation. As of Q2 2009, after a series of restructuring initiatives, including a two-year deferral of its Airbus A380 deliveries, the carrier returned to a net profit of 2.5 billion baht. It has since received its first A380s and commenced service to Hong Kong on 6 October 2012. Topic 2010s fleet renewal and expansion While celebrating its 50-year anniversary in 2010, Thai, spearheaded by Piyasvasti Amranand, its president and a former energy minister, charted new plans for the airline's future, including aircraft fleet renewal and an upgrade of existing services. Thai has since placed orders for a number of aircraft, including the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, and it has also launched a refurbishment of its Boeing 747 and 777 cabins. Mindful of rising fuel costs, the airline has now phased out the most inefficient aircraft, including its Airbus A340-500s. The airline took delivery of its first Airbus A380 aircraft in the second half of 2012, intending to eventually deploy the aircraft on its core European routes. Thai has also resumed its network expansion with the resumption of flights to Brussels, in addition to a new non-stop flight from Stockholm and Copenhagen to Phuket. At the same time, the Greek debt crisis caused Thai to suspend its services to Athens. As part of Thai's broader growth strategy in the region, Thai launched a regional carrier with light premium services, Thai Smile which operates the narrow-bodied Airbus A320-200 on regional and domestic routes. The new airline initiated commercial operations in July 2012, after its first A320s were received. Thai expects to be the first carrier in Asia to fly commercial flights using biofuels. The carrier launched the initiative with experimental flights in December 2011 as part of its corporate social responsibility program, otherwise known as Travel Green. Thai hopes to stimulate sustained biofuel production in Thailand by working with Thai government agencies and regional corporate partners, such as PTT Public Company Limited. The effort aims to reduce carbon dioxide emissions in regional air travel as well as position Thailand to be the bio hub of Asia. All Thai airlines are presently April 2015 under safety review following a negative audit from the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. 
The general implications and possible effect on code share flights are reviewed by Watson, Farley and Williams on the 1st of December 2015. The US Federal Aviation Administration FAA announced their reassessment of the safety rating for Thailand, downgrading it from a category 1 to category 2 country. The FAA stated U.S. and Thai aviation officials have a long-standing cooperative relationship and both our countries work continuously to meet the challenge of ensuring aviation safety. A Category 2 International Aviation Safety Assessment rating means that the country either lacks laws or regulations necessary to oversee air carriers in accordance with minimum international standards, or its civil aviation authority. A body equivalent to the FAA for aviation safety matters is deficient in one or more areas, such as technical expertise, trained personnel, record keeping, or inspection procedures. With a Category 2 rating, Thailand's air carriers can continue existing routes to the United States but they won't be allowed to establish new routes to the United States. The European Aviation Safety Agency EASA declined to blacklist any Thai carriers following a review of certain carriers in November 2015. Thai later received third country operator TCO certification from the EU effective the 15th of December 2015 authorizing the carrier to continue flying to the EU for the foreseeable future. In July 2015, Thai entered a promotional deal with South Korean pop group Girls Generation including an appearance in the music video for their song Party. Also in July 2015, Thai announced the planned cancellation of service to Los Angeles after the 25th of October 2015, marking the end of U.S. service. In June 2016, as a result of its reconstruction plan, Thai announced to commence thrice weekly Tehran service. However, later it stopped its service on the 28th of February 2018 and resumed Moscow service from October and November 2016, respectively. The airline also considered a return to the U.S. using Boeing 787-9 by 2017. However, Karimporn Jothakastira, Thai president, turned down the possibility of returning to Los Angeles or New York City due to losses in the past. Instead, Thai eyed other cities such as San Francisco and Seattle. While Thai Smile, its subsidiary, is planning for new regional routes such as Cebu, Maidan, Surabaya, Chandigarh, Shantou and Tianjin, in August 2016, Thai introduced new route network management system. Following implementation, many flight schedules were synchronized, allowing international passengers to transit via Bangkok more conveniently. Thai planned to adjust 13 route schedules mainly in Japan, Australia, and India. The routes that have been announced are Perth and Brisbane. On the 23rd of September 2016, Thai Smile, Thai's subsidiary, announced four new services to Gaia, Varanasi, Jaipur, and Lucknow in India, marking the expansion of Thai's network in regional market. In the fourth quarter of 2016, Thai Smile vowed to resume its suspended routes, and Thai's terminated regional routes, which are Da Nang, Kota Kinabalu, Luang Prabang, and Mandalay. Also, the airline has considered launching new services to Hangzhou and Zhengzhou. Rolls-Royce engine procurement In January 2017 a four-year investigation by the UK's Serious Fraud Office came to light. It determined that aircraft engine maker Rolls-Royce had paid bribes to agents of the Thai state and employees of Thai Airways in order to secure orders for the Rolls-Royce T-800 engine for its Boeing 777-200s. Rolls-Royce admitted to the charge and agreed to pay penalties. The illicit payments of $36.38 million took place between 1991 and 2005. Bribes were paid in three tranches. The 1st of June 1991 to the 30th of June 1992, Rolls-Royce paid 660 million baht, 18.8 million dollars. The 1st of March 1992 to the 31st of March 1997, Rolls-Royce paid 10.38 million dollars. The 1st of April 2004 to the 28th of February 2005, Rolls-Royce paid $7.20 millionth government rejected calls for Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha to use his Section 44 powers to cut through red tape in the investigation of the Rolls-Royce bribery scandal. 
Response from the Thai government's National Anti-Corruption Commission to information provided by the SFO, is said to be tepid and could be more embarrassing than the scandal itself. Destinations Codeshare agreements Thai Airways codeshares with the following airlines Corporate Topic Financials For calendar year 2017, Thai posted revenues of 190,535 million baht, net income of 2,072 million baht, and total assets of 280,775 million baht. In the first half of 2018, Thai has reported a net loss of 381 million baht. At the commencement of 2014, Thai was subject to a rumor that the company would declare bankruptcy in May 2014. Listed on the Thai Stock Exchange, the company is a state enterprise in which the finance ministry holds a stake of up to 51%. In a statement to the media, Chokchai Panyayong, the Airways' senior executive vice president and acting president, stated, Thai has never once defaulted. Despite its loss in the third quarter of last year, the company still has high liquidity and has a clear plan for debt repayment. He further explained that the carrier's loss of 6.35 billion baht in the third quarter of last year was the result of the company's unsuccessful plan to attract more customers. Thai's financial loss for 2014 was reported to be at 15.6 billion baht, 479 million dollars, 3.6 billion baht higher than the previous year. Thai blamed declining tourist arrivals from North Asia owing to political unrest in Thailand during the year, but capacity figures from Flight Global's Innovate a Network Data Service suggest that Europe was probably an even bigger drain on the bottom line during the year. Topic: 2018 Recovery Plan. Thai's new management team has set itself the goal of returning to sustainable profitability by 2022 as well as joining the ranks of the world's top five airlines. The centerpiece of its turnaround plan is its proposed 100 billion baht purchase of 23 new aircraft. Thai's chairman pointed to its aging fleet as being expensive to maintain. Thai's 89 aircraft have an average age of 9.3 years compared with competitor Singapore Airlines average age of 7.6 years. Thai's chairman said Thai has not yet determined less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 what aircraft and type we need to buy because we have yet to finalize financing. Thai's recovery plans include teaming up with state enterprises airports of Thailand PCL AOT and Krung Thai Bank KTB to help drive the carrier to profitability. The team's first task is to deliver more tourists to 55 second tier provinces the tourism authority of thailand tat will assist the team by creating a new campaign more local to drive tourism to less visited corners of the nation aot which operates thailand's six international airports will invest 220 billion baht in infrastructure to increase airport capacity from 2018's 80 million passengers to 185 million in 10 years KTB's contribution to the effort consists of creating new payment solutions for tourists and ramping up travel promotions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Management issues. Political interference, corruption and abuse of authority have been persistent issues in Thai's management. Speaking at the World Economic Forum on East Asia, former President Piyasvasti Amranand, who had been abruptly dismissed in May 2012, cited Thai's procurement of A340-500s three of which had since been grounded as examples of mismanagement influenced by corruption and political meddling, resulting in operational losses. <laughs> Fleet Current fleet 
As of October 2018, the mainline Thai Airways fleet excluding Thai Smile consists of the following aircraft. Topic. Remarks Historically, Thai Airways had Boeing customer code D7. For example, a Boeing 747-400 aircraft that the airline ordered directly from Boeing commercial airplanes was coded Boeing 747-4 D7. Since the introduction of the Boeing 787, Boeing no longer uses customer codes. Topic. Fleet development plans Thai's fleet development plans, as of December 2011, for the period 2012-2022 is in three phases 2012, phase out of 11 aging aircraft, delivery of 12 government-approved aircraft. 2013-2017, phase out of 35 aging aircraft, delivery of 11 aircraft that have already been approved, and acquisition of 33 new aircraft, including 26 next-generation wide-bodied aircraft and 20 Airbus A320s. 2018-2022, phase out some Boeing 747-400s and some Boeing 777s and acquisition of 15 next-generation wide-bodied aircraft to replace them. Two Boeing 747-400s HSTGF and HSTGG to remain in service, August 2017, considering to purchase new narrow-body aircraft in Samui route. On 13 June 2011, Thai's board of directors announced it would purchase 15 aircraft and acquire the remaining 22 on operating leases. The purchased planes include 14 Boeing 777 300ers, to be delivered in 2014 and 2015, four Airbus A350 900s, 2016 and 2017. The leased planes include six 787 8s and two 787 9s from U.S. Lesser International Lease Finance. The 8 series will be delivered in 2014 and 2015, while the 9 series will be delivered in 2017. In addition, Thai will lease 6 A350-900s from Aviation Lease and Finance, to be delivered in 2017, and 2 A350-900s from CIT Aerospace International, which will deliver the aircraft in 2016. The airline will also lease 6 A320-200s from RBS Aerospace International, to be delivered in 2012 and 2013. All the operating leases have terms of 12 years each. On 20 January 2016 Thai Airways International PCL announced plans to postpone taking delivery of 14 planes for three years to reduce operating costs as the national airline restructured. The 14 planes include 12 Airbus 350s, two of which were due to be delivered in 2016, and two Boeing 787s. On the 12th of February 2016, Thai Airways announced it will continue to ground 10 Airbus A340s it had not been able to sell because flying the four-engine planes is not cost-effective, even after fuel prices plunged more than 40% in the previous year. Besides trying to offload the planes, which were used previously for long-haul destinations such as Frankfurt, the money-losing airline has cut routes and sold assets to bolster its balance sheet and operations. In 2017, Thai took delivery of seven new aircraft and decommissioned two leased Airbus A330-300s bringing its active fleet to 100 as of 31 December 2017. Topic. Fleet history. Topic. Aircraft maintenance centers Thai maintains three maintenance centers, at Yu Tapau International Airport, Don Muang International Airport, and Suwanapum Airport. The centers service aircraft belonging to other airlines in addition to Thai aircraft. Topic. Thai technical Thai Technical is certified internationally by the Federal Aviation Administration, the Joint Aviation Authorities, the European Aviation Safety Agency Part 145 Maintenance Organization, and the Japan Civil Aviation Bureau for Facilities at Don Muang International Airport and Suwanapum Airport. 
It has also received its requalifier identification certificate from the United States Department of Transportation for its operations at Yu Tapao International Airport and Suwanapum Airport. It is certified domestically by the Department of Civil Aviation Thailand for all three of its facilities in Thailand. On the 27th of February 1998, the department received its ISO 9002 certification from Bureau Veritas Quality International, with ISO 14001 certification granted by the same agency on the 16th of March 2001. Topic: Hygiene. Thai initiated a program entitled "The Most Hygienic in Cabin Environment Program," with an emphasis on air quality, surface cleanliness, and food safety. The program includes removal of all in-flight disposable materials after flights, sterilization and fumigation of all cabin equipment, and inspection of the air circulation system. A special audit process is also carried out for the cleaning and sanitization of aircraft systems by a team of specialists. These measures are applied to the entire Thai fleet. Thai was the first airline to install hospital-grade air filter True HEPA, capable of intercepting up to 99.99% of dust particles and microorganisms on every flight. The World Health Organization awarded the airline a plaque for the implementation of its in-cabin management system in 2004. It was the first award of its kind to be presented to a private organization. Cabin services Royal First Class Thai's Royal First Class seats, manufactured by B.E. Aerospace, were introduced with the arrival of the Airbus A340-600. These seats are also available on selected Boeing 747-400 aircraft. A new version of Royal First Class seating in a suite or enclosure configuration is available on Thai's Airbus A380 aircraft and select Boeing 747-400 aircraft since the 2012 refurbishment. Topic: <laughs> Royal Silk Class Business Class. Thai's Royal Silk class seats have been installed on all Thai aircraft. The angled shell designed seats have 150 to 160 centimeters, 58 to 62 in of pitch and a width of 51 to 55 centimeters, 20 to 21.5 in. Prior to refurbishment, Royal Silk class on some 747-400s were sold as premium economy seats on Scandinavian routes. Currently, Royal Silk seats on 777 to 300 ERS and 777 to 200 ERS are sold as premium economy class seats on Scandinavian routes in Moscow. A new set of Royal Silk seats are available on Thai's Airbus A380s, Boeing 777 to 300 ERS, Boeing 787-8s, and Airbus A350-900s. After the delivery of the new 787-9s to Thai, the Zodiac Cirrus or reverse herringbone seats are now available on board the new aircraft. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Economy Class. Thai's Economy Class offers between 81 and 86 cm (32 and 34 in) seat pitch depending on the aircraft type. Personal screens with a VOD are present on the Airbus A380, Airbus A330-300, Airbus A350-900, Boeing 747-400, Boeing 777-200, 200ER, 300 and 300ER, Boeing 787 aircraft. Topic: <laughs> Royal Orchid Plus. Royal Orchid Plus is Thai's frequent flyer program. It has a membership of over 2 million people. There are two types of miles which can be accrued with a Royal Orchid Plus account, eligible qualifying miles EQM on flights of Thai and its subsidiaries and codeshare and Star Alliance partners as well as qualifying miles Q miles are the miles flown as well as the bonus miles earned from travel in particular classes of service on Thai and Star Alliance airlines. Royal Orchid Plus miles are earned based on the paid class of travel. 
There are four tiers in the Royal Orchid Plus program, member, silver, gold and platinum, depending on the Q miles earned in one calendar year. Accidents and incidents The 30th of June 1967, Thai Airways International Flight 601, a Sud Aviation SE-210 Caravelle 3 HSTGI, Kairaprapa, crashed into harbor waters while on approach to Kai Tak Airport in a tropical rainstorm. 24 out of the 80 passengers and crew on board died. 9 July 1969, a Thai Airways International Sud Aviation Caravelle 3 HSTGK, Tepamart landed with difficulty at Don Muang International Airport during a thunderstorm. All 75 on board survived, but the aircraft was written off. The aircraft may have been caught by a downdraft. 10 May 1973, a Thai Airways International Douglas DC-833 HSTGU, Srishubhan overran the runway on landing at Tribhuvan International Airport in Kathmandu. All 100 passengers and 10 crew on board survived, but one person on the ground died. 26 October 1986, Thai Airways International Flight 620, an Airbus A300B4600 HSTAE, Sukhothai landed safely at Atami Airport, Japan after a grenade exploded on board at 33,000 feet 10, meters over Tosa Bay. All 239 passengers and crew on board survived. The aircraft was damaged by the explosion but was repaired and returned to service. 10 November 1990, Thai Airways International Flight 306, an Airbus A300-600 flying from Yangon to Don Muang International Airport was the target of an attempted hijacking by individuals demanding to be taken to Kolkata. 31 July 1992, Thai Airways International Flight 311 from Bangkok, an Airbus A310-300 hit the side of a hill 37 km 23 miles north of Kathmandu while descending toward Tribhuvan International Airport. All 113 on board 99 passengers and 14 crew died. The accident was caused by pilot error and loss of situation awareness in inclement weather. The 22nd of October 1994, a Thai Airways International Airbus A300B4100 HS though was written off after it was struck by an out-of-control Thai Airways MD11 HSTMD PHRA Nakhon that was performing an engine run-up at Bangkok International Airport. The 11th of December 1998, Thai Airways International Flight 261, an A310-200 HSTA, Pitsanulok, bound for Suratani from Bangkok, crashed into a rice paddy about 3 km 2 miles from Suratani Airport during its third landing attempt in heavy rain. 101 of 146 on board died. 3 March 2001, Thai Airways International Flight 114, a Boeing 737-400 HSTDC, Nara Tiwat, bound for Chiang Mai from Bangkok, was destroyed by an explosion of the center wing tank resulting from ignition of the flammable fuel air mixture in the tank while the aircraft was parked at the gate in Bangkok. The source of the ignition energy for the explosion could not be determined with certainty, but the most likely source was an explosion originating at the center wing tank pump as a result of running the pump in the presence of metal shavings and a fuel air mixture, although an assassination attempt was theorized. One crew member died. 8 8th of September 2013, Thai Airways International Flight 679, an Airbus A330-300 HSTEF Songdao, arriving from Guangzhou Beiyun International Airport, Can, China, had a runway excursion from runway 19L while landing at Bangkok Suwanapum Airport, BKK, with extensive damage to the airplane and the runway. All passengers and crew were successfully evacuated with no serious injuries. The plane has since been scrapped and is being renovated, by a private investor, as a children's learning center in the Sita district of Thailand. See also Nok Air Thai Smile Thai Tiger Airways Transport in Thailand